Good morning. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning. Good. Good. It's my favorite person, ladies and gentlemen, in the boatyard. Always got a good disposition. Autopilot. Autopilot. <laughs> So that's our original manufacturer's plaque. The font that the boat came with, in a way. Well, like her name and, you know. Sure, sure, I understand that. And it's nice to tie those those roots together. You know, too, too often, you know, um, roots like that are lost. If anybody ever takes a shower in here, I kill them. <laughs> There's no shower. We just, just strictly for, you know. That's for putting grease fires out on the stove. Uh, very nice, exactly. <laughs> That's for putting out the grease fires. Good morning. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning. Good. It's my favorite person, ladies and gentlemen, in the boatyard. Always got a good disposition. Autopilot. Autopilot. <laughs> These are the recently rebuilt slips of the Ventura Harbor boat yard after they were crashed into by a fishing boat. Maybe we'll get some photographs, but this is where Susanna will be living for probably a week once she is launched, which should be in another week. So, very exciting times. Here today with my brother John. How to do? You're gonna be pulling this out of the water, looks like. They're probably getting ready to be hauled. And uh, go find Dale, check on Susanna. Here's our mast. Good, bad, and, and ugly. All pretty good. Four years. Oh, the 
first thing I see here is a broken cleat. So I definitely need Doug and Clint to take a look at that. And otherwise, things are looking look pretty good. Track looks good. Well, just a quick look. I know it's all very messy, but things are progressing. stuff still here. Guys are still working hard. Finish it up. Probably one week away from launch. Dave's got some batteries coming in today. So got some good stuff to look at. Yeah. Batteries being delivered. Take a look at the mast and just count down the days. Looks like Clint has been varnishing. These are the little brackets that support the spinnaker poles. So he's done a nice job and then they'll get some new leathers. Which will look pretty sweet. We're here with Dave and he is just, we've taken the mask down and you, you, you like what you saw, huh? Yeah, uh, I unwrapped it. It was dirty, but it looks fine. Um, pulled the old, pulled a tagline with the old wind instrument wire and was able to snake the new wind instrument wire down Thank to the mast. Thank goodness. Uh, and just so you know, there, there's a tagline that's run in the mast uh, from the butt end up to the top of the mast and one, another one from the butt of the mast to where the spreader lights go. Okay. And I left both of those in. So Beautiful. We still have taglines in there. I, I thought, well, I'll, I'll try and pull a new tagline with the old wind instrument wire. And if I get away with that, we can leave the old taglines and I won't have to use them. So anyway, you still have two taglines in the mast. You've got a new Excellent. wire inside the mast. Uh, they just finished the fabrication on the radar bracket. Uh, they were finishing it yesterday. I guess they're polishing it now. I'll put the radar cable on the mizzen mast. That'll get that done. Uh, I was just up at Doug's. He's going to be by here in a little bit and bring the engine exhaust through hull so the yard can put that in, the great big one. The big, big one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He yeah. had forgotten it was up there and I thought it still <laughs> was, so I stopped by there this morning and said, we've got to get that to the boatyard. Um, and I guess you guys are going to go up and bring all the rigging and lifelines and stanchions and all that stuff then? Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, I noticed yep. all the halyards are all still on the mast, so I think well, the only thing i got to do on the mast is put the rigging on, the standing rigging. Okay. They should be you know, ready to go whenever the boat gets in the water. Okay. I understand what they want to do is launch the boat, step the mast, put everything on the boat so that they can get a for sure gauge of the water line. Yeah, and it'll be a step process. We'll keep it here at their dock for okay. a few days, and for then, sure. Then what I will do is once I know where the bootstripe is going to go, then I can put the propane drain in. Oh. I don't want to put it in until, because I want to get it as low as I can get it before where they had it. It was in the bootstripe, but it was going uphill. Okay. So you can't have a propane drain going uphill. No, It's got to no, go no. downhill. Okay. Um, but so I didn't want to drill any holes or do anything until we knew exactly where the new bootstripe was going to go, and then it will go in the bootstripe as close to the water line as we can get it. So okay. Hopefully then it will be running downhill. Uh, the only thing I've got to put these two through holes back in the transom for the bilge pumps. Uh, get the batteries on board and at that point as far as I'm concerned once I check the circuits out it's ready to go in the water from an electrical perspective. All right uh, well yeah, very so. nice thanks for that update and yeah. anything else that's going on do we need to yeah once the radar is on we can test all the electronics and things like once that. Once the battery's on board the main thing is bilge pump oh, okay and, and I do notice that Clint still hadn't gotten this manual bilge pump he made a plate to cover the old hole when they cut down these lids it it oh, interfered yeah. with the, the cap. Yeah, no, we looked pump. at one. They're like five. We were just going to uh, get a, a fix kit. So we need that in before we launch. Well, we, we the electric one will work. But right. yes, we want just in case. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah, we okay. want to we want to work. It. I've got all the hoses in They're They're run to here. OK. Yeah, so we need to check on that. Yeah. I'd like to get that in before the boat splashes just 
as a backup. Okay. I mean, they've got portable pumps and everything. If yeah, for yeah. some reason no, the electric did. pump failed, I'm right. not worried. We're right here at the dock. Yeah. yeah. But it'd be nice to have yeah. it in. Yeah. That yeah. still needs to be done. Uh, okay. Yeah, not much. I, I just need to go through and start checking all the electrical circuits once I get the batteries all hooked up. And the main one being the electric bilge pump. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay. And, uh, and then Doug will be over later. Yeah, there's a cleat. I saw a broken cleat on the on the uh, mast. Okay, I didn't I didn't inspect the map, main yeah. mast yet. As far as looking at all the fittings, I did on your mizzen. On the mizzen, the hardware looks fine. It's a little rusty. I asked the yard to osfo it, and, and they had been the fittings had been painted at one time. Okay. So I told them to put the osfo on there to get rid of the rust and paint them, but nothing's been done with that yet. Okay, but it didn't. I looked too. We looked last yeah, week. It didn't, it didn't look, look too didn't bad. Look bad. No, Nothing I mean, like why we start messing around with the crown. Oh, yeah, no, I looked it, at all there, that. There were some no cracks. There were no, yeah. there was nothing that I felt needed to be replaced. Okay. So, Great. at this I mean, time, you know, well, let's just, we'll yeah, put it yeah. in, we'll rig it. Yeah, it's old hardware and all that, but it's still functional. I couldn't see any problem with it. Okay. I couldn't see, you know, Brilliant. getting the fabricator to make all new hardware for the mast. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> so. All right, great. Well, thank you, Dave. We're here with Otto, Otto. and with Gino, <laughs> Otto and Gino, Gino. and Carlo. Yeah. Hey. Hey, All the paisanos. <laughs> yeah, All right. we're a world well, friend. Are we in good hands with this guy? Oh, excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. I mean, okay. Look at that face. Yeah, exactly. How can you <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right, very good. Well, thank you. We're here with Gino. Gino, what's your last name? Lynch. Lin Gino Lynch. Lynch. And we're talking uh, sketches for the uh, transom. Yeah. So, yeah. It, it, he thought we were called Susan, but we're called Susanna. So I found that. out, you, so I was thinking of, you know, something possibly like that. You know, uh, usually, you know, when it comes to a script letter, um, you're usually in love with the capitals, because usually the smaller letters are all about the same. I mean, there's only a, so many ways you can make a U. There's only so many ways you're gonna make that S in a script. Okay. So, you know, most of them are pretty much the same. What you do with it is something else. Like for the print, for instance, this particular illustration has like a pinstripe going around it with a shadow. And also you put even a highlight in there, you know. Now I'm not suggesting that we do all these things, or we may do all these things, but each one of these type of things are something that's going to make the letter pop. Okay. Um, with uh, with the fact that you've got a gold stripe going around your boat, it'd probably be smart to do the letter in gold with with a black pinstripe going around it and some sort of a shadow be behind it. Simple is good, you know, but I like a little of the flair, a little design flair. So it doesn't have to have like tons of different shadowing, but it could have nice looking letters. Like those are nice looking letters, but whether or not you need to have outline, shadow, and bevel at the same time, right? This yeah, you see this. Each there's... adding a different layer of complexity. Right, and uh, so, you know, something something simple, I would think, you know, something like letter with a pale shadow. See, to me, that's fussy. A little fussy. See, or this. this is better. A little, little, simp a little simpler, with a little bit of a drop shadow. Mm -hmm. You know, you just, it's, it's just, it's maybe a little too blocky. You know, maybe, a, but when you start to get into all this stuff, it's, it's like... Too much. If you did this S with this lettering, mm -hmm. you know, so that it's, is this... I don't mind no? this blocky, because then you can read it. Right, but it, a little bit less blocky. Would just keep a little, a little less little, blocky. Just a little bit. Just a yeah. little bit more, a little softer. Like this, maybe. <laughs> without, without this piece. Without that, yeah. I just don't think... Where's our plaque? Oh, we need to ask Clint where the plaque is. Mm -hmm. So that's our original manufacturer's plaque. Come on up. So it's it's a simple font. Oh, yeah. But it is, uh, is kind of like our font. So I don't know if that's something that might look nice on the transom, just like that. Sure. Or a version of that, kind sure. of a, gen a Gino version of that. You notice it has these little slices in it? Yeah. Okay, that's nice, I like that. Yeah, if that's what you want on the back. I think I, I think it's as close to like, even if it's not like my favorite font of all times, at least it is the font that the bow came with in a way. Well, like her name and, you know. Sure, sure, I understand that. 
and it's nice to tie those those roots together. You know, too too often, you know, um, roots like that are lost. True, exactly. You know, so uh, so yeah, you got something like that now. What I'll do is I'll go get some paper. Okay. And I'm going to put some paper on your transom. Okay. Is that where you're going to put it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Put some paper on the transom <clears throat> so that I have a sketch of your transom. Beautiful. I'm going to draw some lines so I know that these are the lines that are actually on your transom. Okay. And then I'm going to lay this thing out. Beautiful. Okay. And I'll show you the layout. Okay. And, um, and I'll have that by tomorrow. Oh, beautiful. The whole idea is to make a layout on paper. And then what I'm going to do is perforate the layout. Okay. And then I put the layout back on the paper, onto the, uh, onto the, onto the boat. Okay. And I chalk dust it. I use colored chalk into, a, into an old sock or something. And I make, you know, and I beat on it. Now okay. The, the chalk dust will go through all the little holes where I made the perforation and it makes the layout on the boat. Oh, okay, nice. So there aren't any drawing marks or pencil marks on the boat. On the boat, right. So, and then you always have a, a layout because, you know, I, there's no sense in me keeping it, so I just give it to the client. Okay, that's great, that's so, great. Uh, yeah, I'd love to have Renee look at it before we actually put it on the boat. Yeah, right. So, uh, maybe I'll bring her up on Thursday or Friday. Yeah, you And see, then we can just approve it. Yeah, see, what phone. I'm going to, like I said, what I'm going to do is put paper on the back yeah. and draw the lines where this is going to go. Okay. And, uh, and then I'm going to come up here and probably draw it. So, because this might need to be kind of, uh, uh, bent, you know, like a little, a little, put a little, I don't know what you call it, like a little bend on it, so that it kind of. Well, yeah, it's got to, it's going it's to be on an arc. An arc, a little bit of an arc. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of an arc. Okay. Because, you know, the idea is to follow your transom. Okay. The trans, the arc of the transom, so that there's no new lines being added to the boat. Look at this. We have, okay. we got, for the first time in a long time, we have multiple. We have like five things happening all at once. Batteries. Okay. Oh, a lot of batteries. Yeah, don't touch paint. that. Found about in there is good. Yeah, don't you touch that paint. Yeah. Who's driving? <laughs> Otto? Oh, no. <laughs> Danny. Danny, all right. <laughs> don't go near the paint, Danny. Oh, no, that's why I stopped there. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go Great. get some paper and go get this done. Great. Like I said. Thank you, Gino. Okay, we're taking a look. Got some lines drawn and on there. Work. There's no new lines being added to the boat. Also, there's a one point perspective going on. So, somewhere down here. Somewhere down here. All these lines come to that point. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, yeah. As it goes across, that's why this line is like that, that's like that. It's all coming to a point that should be underneath this boat, right at the base of the boat. Okay. So all your lines are coming in, you know, you know, like this angle. Beautiful. We can make that bigger. We can make this name. Yeah. No, I like it. I like it small, but I would say you could you could tuck the Pasadena up. I it up. Yeah. Okay. You know, just like you know, half again, just close. Bring it up to there. Yeah, at least. Okay. You know, bring them together so they doesn't look like it's floating away. Like, like you know, they should they belong together. Yeah, yeah. You know? No problem. Uh, Unless we put like, Venice, Italy on it. I'd like to get it away from this anyway. Anyway, yeah, me too. I agree. Yeah. We're back in the saloon and uh, batteries, they were very heavy. They got to weigh about 60 pounds a piece. I'm getting ready to put those in. Dave's here, he's got it in, Dave, he's got them in. Beautiful. See down here, he's clearing out all the space. We're about to, how many are we going to drop in here? Four. Four going here. Yeah, if I took my measurements properly. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, getting ready? Very big fair lift. appearance on camera. That's right. So you guys should feel privileged. That's right. I'm gonna actually help out, get my hands dirty. All right, right here. I may need your little okay. extra lift. Other. Okay. And then. Super. 
an easier down in you, okay? Yeah. 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 Well, that's the way Unfortunately, the talent is in front of the actual work. Uh, well, that happens from happens. time to time. Battery one. Now, you can take some nice film of that. These six. These all six. These six are the house bank. Okay. And the one engine battery back in there is the engine start. And what's nice about these, they're group 31 batteries, and the normal amper hours of group 31s is 105 amper hours. Okay. These, Lifeline came out with, they're called XTs, they're 125 amper hours in the same physical size. Wow. So, with, you know, so with six batteries, you've gained 150 amp per hour, roughly. That's a lot. That's like one light bulb, another 150 hours. Yeah, right? it's, it's really a so, fun. Yeah. Well, so, you I gained mean, essentially 20 amp per hour per battery times six batteries. So uh, yeah. essentially, this is the main battery switch, which will select between the house bank, number two, and the engine bank, number one. So it's like we discussed way back at the beginning of this project, which you'll have to remember to do after you run along with the engine and you shut the engine down to go sailing, is you have to switch that to two. Okay. So that you don't drain the engine battery. The way it was set up before is the engine battery was totally isolated. The problem with that, the problem I have with that, it's a great way to protect the engine battery and not run it dead. Right. You always have an engine battery. Well, but you have to remember to charge it, to switch it to yeah. charge it. But the advantage, the, the advantage of this way is that you can use any battery on the boat for any job on the boat. Gotcha. So, uh, in an emergency, let's say your house bank was dead. In an emergency, you needed battery power. The way your one was set up, you'd have to try and parallel the batteries in order to get that to work. For this, all you do is you switch to one and you're powered up again. At least so, for a short term, right? The, the, the bad side is that you have to remember when you shut the engine down when you're going sailing, is you have to switch that from one, if it's on one, or all, if it's on all, to two. And that will isolate that engine battery. Okay. You just have to so This gives us the most options. Yeah. So but, the main thing is. It, you have you you manually control what the batteries are doing rather than the boat being set up to automatically do what it wants to do. You can manually do it yourself. Well, it's not that what you're looking at right now. It's not metal. No, no. This is a uh, epoxy primer that went over the lead, and then over the top of that is West Systems and their fairing filler mixed together to make a putty that we put over the low spots and now we'll sand it and make it smooth and then we'll coat it. Okay. So this is, that material is actually the same thing that you glued all your planks together with. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. The West System's epoxy, right. So, and then will, we, will you put some more red paint on this? We will actually, when we sand this, we'll apply another coat of epoxy primer and at that point then we'll apply two coats of anti-fouling over that. Okay. okay. Brilliant. Brilliant. Looks good. So paint job came out great. I'm very happy with it, Charlie. I think it's just beautiful. I think yeah, it's I really just beautiful. Like the gold. I think it's just a real soft. It's classy. Touch. It's, it's classy. Looks beautiful. Yeah. So, every boat looks better looking down on it on the dock than looking up in the boat yard. Oh yeah. Every yeah, one. Yeah. So, but this looks pretty good looking up. Words were never so, um, so what, uh, what, uh, last few things. The roller. Tom's looking at the roller right now. He's coming up with a plan Your for the roller. pipes for the ropes need to be put in. The I mean, the, like for the stanchion? No. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I believe I don't. Clint's going to do that. I think he's going to go by the shop tomorrow and pick up some of the Okay, those, those guys, yeah. Parks that are still up at those places. Okay. And the batteries went in today. Do you want to set a date to put this thing in the water so we all have to push towards that date? What date would you like? I don't know, like next Tuesday or something like that. Let's go look at the schedule. So the eight, uh, it's wide open. You could do it. Probably want to do a morning launch, right? Yeah, I'd say ten o'clock, Mark. Well, let's let's block out eight to uh, twelve. Eight to twelve. Block out so we can set it in the water. Oh yeah. Well, Charlie, it's going to be a little bit for Charlie to go over here. So why don't we? Why don't we do ten? Ten to one or ten to two? So ten we need to let it set okay. in the slings and soak up. Okay. Once we put it in, right? It's going to stay at your dock for at least a few days, correct? It's gonna have to. It's gonna have to, right? Well, we just check it all out. Yep. We don't have, we won't have the mast in 
yeah. right away. We don't want to go away. Right? We need, yeah. Can I stay on the boat at night? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So I'll probably do that. So. Um, yeah, let me ask you, did the prop get up to Brian? No, the prop is now over here. Tom's looking at it. He has the hub, so he's going to be looking okay. at it. We're just going to put that prop back on. Good. You know what? Everybody seems to like that brand. Mm -hmm. It's a top, super top of the line. At least for now, I don't think it's critical. It's, it's you know, so we'll, we'll move on to other more critical stuff. So, all right. Okay, 10, 10 to 2. 10 to 10 2. 10 to 2, Thursday the 8th. Wow, that is a momentous, <laughs> we're actually talking about the date after almost five years. And then uh, putting the mask up, we'll set that at a different date. Right, don't need to do that right away, right? I mean, unless you want to. It's no, I think we gotta get it in water, Charlie, and make sure it tightens up. Okay. We have a, we're not taking on a lot of water when we gotta haul it back out. Right, right, that's a good idea, right. right. Then, uh, next day, even, we could maybe, or the next well, week. we'll see where Dave's at on the mass. Okay. And, uh, we could certainly yeah. do that. Well, there she is, no scaffolding. A little bit in the shade, but, we have now set the launch date next Thursday, December something, 8th. Just the last few jobs. See you next time.